Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 115. That is, what are the various contents of test plan? Let me answer. Test plan contains several contents like overview, scope. Scope can be further classified into inclusions and exclusions. Inclusion stands for in scope functionalities. Exclusions of scope stands for out of scope functionalities. Okay, then we have test environments test strategy, roles and responsibilities, test schedule, test deliverables, pricing which is optional, entry and exit criteria for the different phases of STLC that is requirement analysis phase, test planning phase, test designing phase, test execution phase and test closure phase. Then we have suspension and resumption criteria, then list of tools, risks and mitigations, approvals. Okay, these are the different contents of a test plan. Here we have an example of a test plan which contains all the able listed contents. Okay, that is from overview to approvals. Okay, let me show you this example now. So I'll open this uh, test plan document here, which is a sample test plan document, which contains all the just now listed down contents of a test plan. Okay, so here is a sample test plan document guys that you can see. So if you download in your machine, it will be good. But uh, at this moment, I am opening the Google Drive. Okay, so Google Docs, so it may not be visible properly, but that's fine. Okay, here you see, uh, here is mentioned, this is a one sample case, okay? Different templates will be there. This is one of the template. Test plan for this application, sample application. So here, first section we have, first content we have as part of the test plan document is overview, okay? Which uh, describes about this particular test plan. Then we have scope, which is further cat classified into in scope and out of scope, okay? Inclusions and exclusion functionalities. So after overview and scope, we have test environments, the list of environments in which we are, the testing team is going to perform testing as part of this project, okay? Third, third one is test environments. Then we have test strategy, okay? The strategy you are going to follow for testing. Then uh, after test strategy, you have this roles and responsibilities, different people and what are their roles and regulations in this project, okay? Responsibilities in this project. Then we have schedule, at what time we are going to do what, okay? Then we have test deliverables. What are the different things that we are going to deliver as part of this project? Then we have pricing, which is optional, guys. Then we have entry and exit criteria for each and every phase of STLC, that is requirement analysis phase, entry and exit criteria. Okay, test planning phase, entry and exit criteria. Test designing phase, entry and exit criteria. Test execution, entry and exit criteria. Test closure, entry and exit criteria. Then we have suspension and resumption criteria. Based on the client decision, we will do the suspension and resumption criteria. Then next one is tools, list of tools that we are going to use as part of this project. Then we have risks and mitigations. What are the probable risks and uh, what are the uh, mitigation plans, okay? The, that we are going to implement when this kind of uh, risk really occur, okay? Then approvals, the what is approval process between the client and the project team, okay? So these are the different uh, contents of a test plan document. That is overview, scope, test environments, test strategy, roles and responsibilities, test schedule, test deliverables, pricing, which is optional, entry and exit criteria for each and every phase of STLC, suspension and resumption criteria, tools, risk and mitigations and approvals. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. That is what are the various contents of a test plan? So that's all for this session. The next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.